Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, Pokemon Liquid Crystal. Um, this is the third time that I've actually recorded this, this uh, particular episode. Because, um, actually no, four. Um, just because I keep running into various, I don't know, obstacles which cause the ROM to crash. And it's really getting on my nerves at this point. So, today we're going to tackle the Sprout Tower. And start off with Sage Bob. Who is clearly the most sagey of all the sages because of his name, Bob. Um, so yeah, we're gonna tackle the Sprout Tower. Um, the Sprout Tower—it's not as hard as I think it could have been. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of too easy for Quaint. It's probably because he now knows Ember, so he's going to 1KO all these Bell Sprouts. But either way, Quant is going to find them a little easy. Not much of a challenge at this point. So, anyway. Ideas for teams. I really don't know. I don't know. I got Quaint. I, I actually considered using the Spinarak Pansari Burst, but just, just nah. Nah. Yeah, I mean, I really don't know. I'm at a loss of what Pokemon to use. There can be some okay Pokemon, but on most most of the time, there. I mean, they um this series it does introduce a lot of cool Pokemon, but still, they're nothing that I'd like to use. I mean, um yeah, and just ignore all that sound in the background if you can hear it and stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna keep on with the Sprout Tower and stuff. The Sprout Tower is fun. Um, uh, right here. Then. Um, we're gonna go here. The next active of Sydney Troy. And we're gonna take on this guy. And he says sway like it believes in the wind. Which I think is I'm pretty sure it's a quote from the Ecrotique City Gym. I think. I will find out later on, won't we? But anyway, Quaint level 14. And for those of you who don't know, that means something very special is about to happen to Quaint. Hooray! Well, you'll find out at the commence, oh, not the commencement, the uh, closure of this battle, which is now. Okay, so now that we've beaten Sage uh, Kaiman, yeah, Sage Kaiman dead. And what? Quaint is evolving, yes. Everybody, Quaint is now changing form. Now that Quaint, mm, yeah, Quaint will no longer be Cyndaquil, and now Quaint is a Quilava. Yes, he is. So now our Quaint has turned into a Quilava. Joy, joy. Um, so let's take on the next sage in the Sprout Tower. Two moons, that's not too bad. Alright. I should be able to finish the Sprout Tower today. Jesus. God, I'm really at a loss of what other Pokemon to put in my team. I mean, I don't want this turning into a solo run. I wouldn't mind using a horsey. That, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, horsey. Um. Probably... I want. I really want to use an Onyx, and I am going to research how to turn an Onyx into a Steelix in this game. I'm not sure. We will find out sooner or later. Yeah. I know that in um, Shiny Gold X, all you had to do was just level them up, and at a certain level, they just evolve. Just an altered feature that I thought was pretty cool. Anyway, this new sage has the Hoot Hoot, so despite the name, they don't just have Bell Sprouts. So, yeah. And is Amber a physical type attack? No, it's not. Hooray. Unlike Vine Whip, which is a special type attack. That was really strange. Anyway, on to face the gym leader. Oh, but it's night. And, yeah, by the text, you can kind of guess that night destroyed the elder. But considering that we absolutely destroyed Knight earlier on, 
I'd suggest that the Zelda isn't going to be too much of a challenge. Which is not. But anyway, so let's take on Mielda. Yeah, so it was good of me to come here. So, yep, yeah, it's the final test and he's... Yeah, he's just going to check the... Anyway, yeah, he's going to check the bonds between you and, you and your Pokemon. So his name is Sage Christo, and you have to beat him. So he throws a level 8 bell sprout at you, which you earn. And then he throws out his ace Pokemon, which isn't all that good. It's a level 11 Hoot Hoot. So, let's beat the Hoot Hoot. Uh -huh, he's got burn, shattered. You'd be very shattered. So he gets hurt by his burn, and then we ember him. And he dies. Yes, he does. Alright. Oh, that was hoot hoot. That was disappointing also. I expected a lot more from the hoot hoot. But anyway, we got Flash. Which is good. Flash is good. So, let's uh, go explore. And that was the end of the Sprout Tower. And it's raining, yay! Uh, let's check out this Pokemon school. No, let's not. That was really gay. Yep, well that tree can be cut down later on in the game. There's not much else to explore in that area. Oh, it's a widow. Yes, it's a wriggly tree. Um, you know what, let's see if we can go solve this puzzle. I think that's what we'll do right now. In here. Uh. Oh, okay. We didn't even need to solve a puzzle. That's cool. Oh my god, it's an unknown. I didn't even save and heal after the sprout leader but that's okay because he wasn't that hard at all was he all right so let's get out of there that was incredibly pointless okay i've got a hundred seconds left because my screen recorder counts in seconds um i don't know first let's heal and then maybe we can i don't know find another pokemon um, I really don't know. Can't go there. Let's go here and do stuff. Ooh. It's heavily raining. Oh, look, it's Faulkner. Wow, hello Faulkner. That was really great of you. All right. Oh, Dark Cave. Well, that was fun and pointless. Oh, we could do that. Maybe I should use a Zubat. It can be okay, I suppose. We're an alright flying Pokemon. Oh, but it's dead, so I can't use it. Oh, well. Anyway, the main reason I was here is this was that I could hopefully blindly search to find a Moonstone, which is awesome. Because I can use Moonstone to evolve many Pokemans later. Oh, there it is. Now we got the moonstone, we can just go. Yep, there's a Zubat. We can amber it and it dies. Yes, it does. And, yeah. So, let's see if we can... Yep, we're out again. And let's go back to Violet Sea. Anyway, that pretty much concludes this episode. So, we're just going to shelter from the storm in here so until next time